In this video, we will be starting about the habitat. Now, what is habitat? See, the word means, the word means the living place of an organism. Of an organism. The place where these organisms live which provide them the uh, proper food, shelter and climate condition which best suits to them is their habitat. So it is the natural place, it is the natural place of the organism the habitat provides an organism with food shelter and climatic conditions conditions best suited for it to survive breed and flourish Right, so habitat is actually where your living organism live. See, your living organism lives either on the land or on the water. So we have divided the habitat into two parts that is aquatic or water habitat or we can say terrestrial or land habitats right so if i talk about aquatic habitats which means the organisms living in water right so aquatic or water habitats can be further subdivided into the three parts that is number one marine habitats refers to salt water habitats marine habitats means the habitats or the living organisms that live in salt water in seas or oceans the organism living in marine habitats are also known as marine organisms such as example are whales sharks sea wheels sea weeds sea turtles all these organisms live in marine water or you can say seas or oceans the second habitat we have divided is your fresh water habitats habitats that the uh, those who live in only fresh water like lakes rivers ponds we can say about uh, water bugs or some flowers like water lilies these all live in fresh water and the last one comes your coastal habitats see refer to the region where the sea meets land coastal area is the area where sea meets land your sea meets the land is your coastal area like your beaches and all now there are a variety of coastal habitats that support different types of living organism now if i say crabs 
oysters, mangroves, other trees. All these are the living organisms that live in the coastal habitats. Now terrestrial habitats, your land organisms that live on land are your terrestrial habitats like your cows, human beings, snakes, camels or are you know living or are dependent on the land for their habitat. Now we have divided it according to the following. Number one if I talk about this desert habitat. See, desert habitats are uh, get very little rain and are very hot and dry. So, the living organisms that can live in deserts are like camels, rats, snakes, cacti. Cacti is a plant. All these are your desert animals. Second is your grassland habitats. Now grassland habitats get moderate rain. There is a moderate rain. Right. So examples of living organism in these habitats can be a zebra, giraffes, then deer, lions, grasses, all this is grassland habitats. Then comes your rainforest habitats. See, rainforests are hot and wet and have plenty of rains. They have the uh, climate as hot, wet, and plenty of rain. Now, your monkeys. snakes and hundred of varieties of trees different varieties of tree as tree needs uh, rain to grow so uh, hundreds of varieties of trees are the you know organisms that li live in the rain habitat that other one is tundra or polar habitats See, these are the uh, areas that is covered with snow completely. No water, nothing. So it is covered with snow. Polar bear, we have uh, heard about polar bears. Penguins. And some grasses. Lives in this habitat. And the fifth and the last one among the terrestrial habitat is your mountain habitats. See, uh, mountains are those that rise much higher than the land surrounding them. Mountain habitats are cold and windy. So the animals or you can say living organisms that live in the Mountain habitats are your goats, sheep. Whenever you go to hill station, you might find a lot of goats, sheep, yaks, and pines there. So all these habitats are live in the mountain areas or the hilly areas. I hope you have understood this. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.